Hello, welcome to this lesson where we are looking at um, earth geometry. We just want to see what is required of us to handle this question. Okay, so let's read through the question. We have been given three points on the surface of the earth, then there are questions that we are supposed to answer. So the easier way that you are supposed to handle this question is to sketch the, the globe. What am I talking about? You sketch this one. Okay? So you look at the latitudes. How many latitudes do you have? The latitudes are these first ones. So you've got 15, you've got 35, and you've got it. Uh, and this is supposed to be south. This is supposed to be south in the question. Alright? So we we draw we, we draw the the latitudes. So you know that the north. The 35 will be the 35 will be on top of 15 because they reduce as we come downwards. This is 15 degrees. Then our 35 south. 35 south is going to be here. Then now the longitudes we have 40, 70, also another 40. So 40 is supposed to come first before we go to 70. Okay, so this is our 40 degrees east, and this is our 70 degrees east. Okay, so where are the points? A is uh, 15 latitude, and D. A is 15 latitude, so this is our A. So this is how you state the, the position of uh, a, a point. So for instance, if you needed to state the location of A, you start with the latitude and the longitude. And B is 35, 70. 35, 70. It's our B is here. Then C is, C is here. This is where our C is going to be. Alright, that's all. Then now we come to this. Answer the following question. Calculate the distance AC from A to C here. So here you realize that these two points are on the same longitude. These two points are on the same longitude, and if that is the case, the formula that we always we use is um, okay. That's all. This is the formula that we are going to use. So we say AC, which is the distance from A up to C. We use this. Now this theta here is uh, the difference. The difference in the latitudes between A and C. These latitudes that pass through A and C, what is their difference? So this one is 15 degrees north. This one is 35 degrees south. So if those um, latitudes that you are looking at are from two different hemispheres, to find the difference, you are supposed to add them. Supposed to add them. So when you add them here, if they are in the same hemisphere, you subtract. If they are in this. They are in different terms as you add. So that is going to be, we are going to get what here? We get 50. Here we are going to get 50. Over, then multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by this. The radius of the earth has been given in what? In uh, kilometers. So even our answer will be in kilometers. So let's work this thing out. I hope you have a calculator. I don't have a scientific calculator, so I'll try to use a small calculator on, the, on my phone. Fifty divided by three sixty multiplied by multiplied by two multiplied by three point one four two again multiplied by. Six three seven zero. Okay, so here what I'm getting is five 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 nine point five nine. But in the exam, we are always requested to write these uh, answers correct to three significant figures, which is going to be five. Five, then six zero kilometers. So this is what is supposed to be our answer. In the exam, 
those answers where the decimal answers where the number of decimal places have not been specified, you write them correct to three what? Three significant figures. So this is the first one. I've dealt with the first one here, and that is what is supposed to be your answer. The distance from this to that. Okay? Then now we have an airplane takes off from B and flies due west. From B, due west, this side, on the same latitude. On the same latitude. Covering a distance of 9 watts to point Q. So we have point Q somewhere here, on the same latitude. Calculate the difference in longitude between the two points, which is B and Q. What are we supposed to do? Now it's very important here that we get to know the formula that is used to find the distance between B and Q. So the formula that is used to find the distance between two points that are on the same, um, on the same latitude, for me, I find this one easier, which is... Um, Multiplied by 2 pi r cos x degrees. This x degrees, will, I'll explain. It's the, you need to get the degrees on that cell, on the latitude where the two points do lie. So like in this case, these two points are on 35. So 35 is what we're going to put here. Alright? Now we are told that this formula, the distance from Q to B or B to Q, it's what? It's 900 kilometers. So, we are saying BQ is giving us this. Okay? So now, we are going to replace where they are saying find the difference in longitude. Find the difference in longitude. It is this part that they want us to find. You remember what we did on the first? This is the difference in longitude. Here, we were looking at the difference in latitudes. So, the difference in longitude that they are referring to here, it's the value of this theta here. That is what we are supposed to do. And what are we supposed to do in that case? Since we know that the distance here is supposed to be 900. The distance here is supposed to be 900. So now we are going to begin to replace. So we are going to have uh, 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. 1, 4, 2 multiplied by 6, 3, 7, 0 multiplied by course uh, 3, 5 degrees. This must give us 900. That's what we are doing. So here, it's even easier if we can multiply all these here on top. It's easier if we can multiply those that are on top here. Let's multiply 2 multiplied by you multiply 2 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 point 1, 4, 2, multiplied by um, 6, 3, 7, 0, then multiplied by cos, multiplied by cos uh, 35, multiplied by cos 35. What are we getting? This side, we are getting... Um, let me write it here. For me, what I'm getting is 3, 2, 7, 8, 9, point 9, 0, 2. So here we should have this. Then over 360, this should give us 900. Okay? This must give us 900. Which is this 900? So... At this point, then we cross multiply. We're supposed to cross multiply here. So you cross multiply. So we are going to have um, 3, 2, 7, 8, 9, 9 theta. This is equal to, let's multiply 360 by 360 by 900. 360 multiplied by 900. 360 multiplied by 900, 360 multiplied by 900, you get 32400. Alright? Then to get the value of this one, you need to divide both sides. You divide both sides. This one, 
What was it? Point nine. This one must come this side, which is three, two, seven, eight. Eight nine point nine. Okay. Um then you're supposed to have now to get to divide. So we divide. When you divide this to what we get, so divided by we divide this by three two seven eight nine point nine. So this is going to give us 9.88. 9.88 is the value of 9.88. So for degrees, it's always advisable to leave it correct to one decimal point. So we have 9.9 .9 degrees. That is the actual, um, that is now, I mean, that is the difference in the longitude between those two places. Then there's a question that wants us to find the position. There's a question that wants us to find the position. A position of what? Q. Now we know that the difference, when we subtract the, the, the degrees, this one which is on B and the one that is on Q, we must get this one, 9.9. .9. So what are we supposed to do? When we subtract those degrees, what we are supposed to get is this one. So we are going to say this is equals to 7, 70, which is on B, minus X, which is on Q, and we do not know it. Okay? So this part we have found what it is. We know what this part is. It's 9.9 .9. is equals to 70 minus X. So how do we work this one out? So it's going to be x is equals to 7 minus 9.9. .9. So x is equals to 61, I mean 60.1, 60.1 degrees. So now, to the question, the position for this Q here, it, we start with 35 degrees north, comma, the degree on the longitude which is 61.1 degrees east this is the location or this is the position of q so i hope i've even covered the place how do you state the position how do you state the so you know that q must be somewhere here in between somewhere here because this is 40 so it should be before 40 all right so that is the distance between these two points, which is already given, then the position is this one. These questions always carry uh, six marks in the exam, paper two. Sometimes it comes in section A, where it's composite, or section B, where it is uh, mostly maybe put together with the uh, calculus or mensulation. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that all the videos that we upload you are able to initially we are ideally we are providing all the topics that are presented for grade 10 up to 12 all right so thank you very much for watching